Diving into uh, week two of speed. I did not feel like training today at all. But I always forget how well supplements work. Um, time and time again, I, I've stuck with the same supplement company for years now. And uh, USP Labs has been fucking awesome to me. Not to mention, I believe their supplements have been really consistent. I know what to expect from them. Uh, I don't grow a quick immunity to them to where I need to keep having more and more shit pumped in me. So I train with uh, modern BCAA as well as uh, Jack 3D or Amino Lift, depending on the day. If I need a little bit more, I'll go to Jack. Normally, Amino Lift does me just fine. And then uh, modern creatine has been involved the last uh, training cycle. So I'm not great at taking supplements, I forget a bunch of shit. But those are uh, the ones I'm consistent with. So check those dudes out and uh, check out my workout. It was uh, fucking hard. It's 10 sets of three, speed stuff, squats, bench. And uh, yeah, legs are a little whipped from throwing yesterday and riding yesterday. Just tired today and didn't feel like fucking doing it. But keep moving forward. I got a meeting to I got an appointment tomorrow with the chiropractor get some work done so that'll kind of help aid things the rest of the week in the meantime check out the hate.com for cool sweet gear check out uh, my sponsors skins Sorenex, Mark Smelly Bell and Slingshot check out Jesse Burdick at Power Wad Kelly Storette's Mobility Wad any other awesome wads you might be really into um, I'm sure I'm forgetting some sport kilt. They uh, keep me looking fresh all season. If you need to kilt, get it them. Use code uh, DRIFTALIFTA to uh, get some discounts. What else could you want? So keep training hard. And, uh, and Now look at today's training. So this is uh, another speed day. Ten triples this week. Uh, a little bit heavier weight than last week. I think uh, for specifics, it's most likely in the 65, 70% range. Um, so hitting some speed triples, uh, really happy with how things felt. Bar moved really well today. Um, worked on some stuff. I've been kind of following some of the stuff Chris Duffin's been saying about, you know, with, uh, wearing a belt and pressure and felt some different stuff today and was pretty happy. At just a difference in tightness, you know, stuff I know how to do. It's just, uh, I needed that kick in the ass reminder to be tight everywhere and to stay tight throughout the lift. And, uh, felt great you know uh some some heavier weights this week moved a lot faster um i think one of the things i'm going to be investing here pretty soon is a texas squat bar i'm really tired of the way this bar is uh, is bouncing i've gotten a lot of years out of it and uh, it seems to be fine for a lot of things but it's uh it's pretty whippy at uh, at this point um not that it ever had a time when it wasn't it just may not be designed for exactly what i'm using it for so a texas squat bar would be a lot stiffer I think that's a big reason why when I was at Mark's, I was able to hit uh, that 505 for 10. Uh, this is my last set. This is 520 for a triple uh, in just some knee sleeves. And uh, pretty happy. Pretty happy with how things are feeling. A little strain in my hamstring, a little strain in my glute. So this is after my regular squats. I uh, went ahead and dropped down to some lighter weight. I don't know, 240-ish, 250, some, something like that. I'm not a math magician. And then bang out a set of 10 or two sets of 10 is what I did yesterday just to get a little extra work, a little bit more blood into the legs and uh, keep things moving. Um, then did some glued ham roller from Sornex. This thing's a little over 100 bucks. A really awesome tool for this. Uh, ab rolling. Um, some side lunges. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Um, I, I think it's a great piece. Uh, and then uh, on to bench. And uh, for bench, I decided to... Uh, warm up my shoulders but doing some more skin the cats i'm going to start adding these in every day i do anything overhead a couple sets of two or three just to keep shoulder health good and since i'm flexible enough to do those i'm going to do them um bench went about the same as planned 10 sets of three uh working up to whatever still you know is feeling fast is the key and a little bit of band tension there not a whole hell of a lot but uh, these are kind of my, I didn't record all 10 sets. It's pretty fucking boring. But you get the idea. 
So those are the couple set to bench, and then I did some overload work and went to uh, I think 365-ish, I believe, and did some uh, Slanger bench for two sets of five. All in all, pretty happy with strength. Body weight still staying the same, still sub 270 to 265-ish, uh, and uh, that's right where I want to be. Season's coming relatively soon, and, uh, and looking forward to it. Looking forward to everything I got coming up, the IHGF championships and in France, and then uh, the World Championships will be in Pleasanton, California this year. So if you guys are out in California around Labor Day, you should come out and uh, see the big show. It should be a good time. Uh, those are some lat rows I'm doing uh, using the Spud uh, Econo Pulley. And uh, this is uh, Weighted Dips. Real shocker. So check it out. Check out the hate.com. Enjoy the Drift to Lift of Stuff. Uh, like and share.